And we're back. Tyler and Colby Lewis here with Phenon Hoops. Today we're going to talk to you about the 1A State Championship on Saturday. The third game of the day played at Reynolds Coliseum at 5 p.m. Colby, kind of give us a preview of the Hayesville-Chatham Charter game. Hayesville undefeated on the season, 27-0, and coming out of the West. Uh, head coach Mike Cottrell has done an unbelievable job up there for years, right? Um, they've been one of the premier teams in 1A basketball for, you know, for a long time. Um, they're led by – Two seniors, Jake McTaggart, the 6'6", um, you know, wing forward. I mean, his ability to really stretch the floor and knock down shots from deep, right? And he's, you know, he's versatile. He can score inside. He's averaging 18 points, 12 rebounds a game. Um, you know, he's going to be a tough matchup for anybody, right? And then you have the senior point guard, Colby Ash, averaging 17 points, four rebounds a game. I mean, four assists, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, he can really play make, right? High IQ point guard, really sees the floor, makes plays for others, and then he can really shoot it and knock down shots, right? So those two lead the way. They really score the ball at a high level for this team. Um, and, and then you have a team like Chatham Charter who, you know, knocked off defending state champs, Wilson Prep. They're coming into the game 33-1, and one, unbelievable year. Coach Jason has done a, a tremendous job. They really execute, and they're so well balanced on this team. They have, you know, four guys that are averaging double digits in scoring. You have a guy like, you know, 6'2 junior, Adam Harvey, averaging 16.5.7 rebounds. Amir Mapp averaging 11.5 points a game. Freshman Brennan Oldham averaging 10 points, 7 rebounds. And then you also have, you know, 6'1 freshman Bo Harvey uh, averaging 10 points, 4 assists. So they, they have two underclassmen that really do, a, you know, really score the ball for them, really are really key contributors. So – you know, you look at it, it's kind of a tell of two teams, right? One team has two senior veterans that have been there. They're battle tested. Uh, they're undefeated. They're trying to cap, you know, finish off a, a historic season. And then you have a team with a lot of underclassmen with juniors and, and, and freshmen that play that are, this is their first time, right? This is what they've been able to prove themselves throughout the state tournament that they're here, right? They're, they're ready to make a name for themselves, Um in both teams, I mean, they're both fundamentally sound. It should be a, a really fun game for basketball purists because both teams really execute and they're going to, you know, run their stuff and, and make plays. And, and they do a really good job of finding others. You look at the teams and you're like, man, these guys have multiple guys averaging multiple assists, right? And and they're everybody on their team is willing to give up a good shot for a, for a better shot. Well, when you're able to give up a good shot for a great shot – Normally, really, really good things happen. Normally, those are the teams that win. Yeah. Like you look at Baylor last year, Gonzaga every year. Like those teams, they, they give up really good shots for great shots. And they compete at a high level. And they can defend. And, you know, when you share the sugar, it's, it's really fun to play with the person beside you. Yeah. No one wants to play with somebody who's going to shoot every ball or, you know, they're selfish. When you're able to play, put the team first and put your individual goals aside, normally – great things happen and it leads to winning. And I always, and, you know, Coach Rick, dad always told us, like, you know, when the team succeeds, individual succeeds. Yeah. And, that, and that's what happens in this, in, in both these situations. Like both these teams made it to the state championship and they're seeing a lot of individual success happening along the way. Yeah. And, and I think the thing too is like you talked about that and I kind of hit on it earlier too, is just both teams being tested, right? Um, Hayesville, you know, Western, you know, the West final, they're playing against Winston-Salem prep, you know, one of the, you know, one, a powers in North Carolina, right. They knocked them off to yeah. advance to the state championship. And then Chatham charter had to go through Wilson prep, who, the who, 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 who arguably was the favorite, right. In one, a basketball once again. Um, and they had a convincing win 59, 42 that, I mean, yeah. they came ready to go and they made, you know, they made a statement in that win. So, both teams are going to have to, you know, really prepare. And obviously, both teams will do a great job preparing for this game. It's going to be a fun one to watch. 30, 32 minutes left in the high school basketball season for both these teams, unless unless everyone gets free basketball and it goes into overtime. But, yeah. you know, thir 32 minutes to see who's going to win the state championship. It's going to be a very exciting 1A state championship at 5 p.m. at Reynolds Coliseum. It, it should be packed in there. I can tell you that much. And it will be a very exciting game with two really good teams. So I'm excited to see the outcome and, you know, good luck to both.